Look, long term, I, I expect that as additional capacity is brought on in the industry, I expect that pri prices will reduce. But the $60,000 question is, when is that likely to happen? Do you see a recovery in steel demand from Europe anytime soon? Um, no, not at this stage. Uh, we're, we're, uh, we're seeing as steady as it goes in terms of, of Chinese steel production. It, it's down a bit on, on where it's been. Interestingly enough, uh, iron ore demand is, is still very strong. And I suspect that's because high cost Chinese producers have actually come out of the market uh, and we're actually replacing or supplement, supplementing those tonnages. Your CFO Guy Elliott said that the poor market conditions means assets that weren't available are now on the market. Does this mean more acquisition opportunities for Rio Tinto? Um, certainly we've seen elevated prices for iron ore businesses uh, around the world. Clearly many of those projects with uh, Eurozone financial constraints are going to find it harder to bring those projects on. But it's a process of continually uh, analysing and, and assessing the market opportunities. Um, you know, the question is, uh, you know, do, do, does it now become attractive? Um, and that's really what we've got to determine. But um, Guy is right, there may well be some opportunities. Both the mining tax and the carbon tax are poised to kick in next year. What is your opinion on the so-called tax everything government? It's a worry. Well, what's going to come next and how is it going to impact on, on uh, projects and, and uh, how will it actually affect the Australian economy? You know, right now, um, with Europe where it is, is, is not a good time to be sort of fiddling with fundamentals of the economy in areas that you're relying on to be the backbone of the economy, to be the engine room of the economy. That, that, that is not sensible. What is your opinion on the government's decision to lift its uranium export ban to India? To me, I think it's a practical change. I, I think it's recognising uh, the current and future trading opportunities between the two countries. And you know, sometimes relatively minor things can get in the way. Well, to the extent that this was a philosophical ob objection rather than a real objection, I, I think that uh, it makes sense to move forward clean the slate and, and see how Australia and India uh, can develop their relationship uh, even further.